So you love your Motorola Atrix? You can prove it by downloading Neutrino ROM from XDA developers. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Smoking Android and today we have got a new ROM for you. If you're an Atrix lover like me slash owner, um, then you are going to need to take a look at Neutrino ROM from Notorious over at XDA, Notorious 544D. Um, Notorious has taken Cyanogen Mod Weekly number four, I believe, and completely redid it. Um, he has done an absolutely phenomenal job at removing every last bit of piece of crap out of anything that you could possibly imagine. Um, he did so much that we actually needed to get a couple of add-ons so we could get other parts of the ROM working, but... Considering this is a brand new ROM version 1.4, you can sure as hell bet that he is going to be coming out with future updates for this ROM, so stay tuned for those. Now, diving into the ROM itself, one of the biggest things everybody's always wondering about is the battery. The battery, the battery, battery. How is the battery running? How does the overclock work with the battery? And so on. Well, I'm going to show you guys a screenshot that I took um, after using this for a couple of days. Um of the battery uh, at 15% as you can see get that to focus you get the picture 15% and it was almost one day and 14 hours now granted for about seven of those hours I was sleeping and I do turn off my Wi-Fi and or data however for the rest of the time I have my two email Gmail accounts synced um, and and it the sync turned on and all that good stuff uh, it's 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 phenomenal. Um, I did you know my Facebooking, I did text messaging, a little bit of YouTubing, some XDA surfing, web surfing. Um, I played some games and so on. Now, with that said, uh, he's done a little um, optimization where the uh, games and things like that run off of the GPU instead of the CPU, which adds for better performance and battery life, and it shows. Um, what else? Uh, as far as uh, transition effects go, he's also included some transition, uh, some uh, ice cream sandwich transition effects, as you can see there. Uh, very smooth. They all work. I've tried other ROMs out there, and this is um, flawless. Absolutely flawless. Um, on top of the transition effects, which are just, they, they work every time. I, I've never seen them work so well on another ROM for the Atrix before. Um, on top of that, he's also included a nice black and white, basic, simplistic type of theme. Um, when you're including black and white, now I, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, I'm sure many of you are, but um, when you've got a wallpaper uh, that has, let's say it's just a black wallpaper, um, technically speaking, um, you're supposed to get better battery life out of it. Now he's pretty much themed the entire ROM with black and white, uh, which basically means you should technically get battery, battery, better battery life just on that fact alone. Um, aside from all the other awesome tweaks he's done. Um, now, he's also increased the Delvet cache to ADM, uh, which does increase with smoothness. Um, it's got the MIU ROM built into it, and I tested it out, and man, does it take pictures fast. Uh, I set it on the burst uh, uh, burst shutter, and it was just t -t 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 really, really quick, very flawless. Um, what else has he done to this thing? Um, he's done some uh, SD card tweaks, which I noticed. Uh, I could definitely tell that they are working as I found in other ROMs that the SD card tweak was kind of broken. Um, or maybe it just didn't work or the flash wasn't, but I'm no, I'm, I'm no stranger to flashing, so I just assumed that maybe they just weren't working that well, but they are working in this ROM. Um, what else? Another little cool tweak we've got here is obviously they've got the um, fingerprint scanner working, um, and there's settings for that which I will show you here, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, do do do. where was it? Do, do, do. Oh, shoot, I think I may have forgotten where the fingerprint scanner was. Uh, device settings, there it is. Fingerprint sensor navigation. Now, as you can see, there's um, all types of different things. Now, the big one here is emulation. Now, it's originally default set is D-pad 8-way. Uh, I've actually changed it to trackball. And the reason behind that is because if you'll take a look here, and we'll just type out some text. Oh, not to mention he's done some um, touch screen sensitivity optimization. So the accuracy of the touch screen is um, way quicker uh, and a lot more accurate. So I'll just type in the quick, whoops, quick brown. Uh, I forgot how to spell brown. No, I didn't. 
uh, fox jumped over the lazy dog. Now, as you can see, I made some mistakes there. That's okay. Instead of having to sit here and kind of muck around with this little tab, which can really be a pain in the ass. Um, and there is some keyboards out there, some third-party keyboards that you can download, and you can actually use your rock, uh, volume rockers to move back and forth. But I found this method is really cool now that it's uh, available for us. You can actually use the fingerprint scanner to um, move the thing. And as you can see, I'm just with my finger here, and I can correct and go to where I want. Now I changed from the um, from the default to the trackball because with the default it, you could only do one at a time, one at a time. And no matter, it doesn't matter if you gave it the full surface area like that. Um, it, it only went one at a time, so I changed it. And um, wow, I mean, like you know, the the scrolling, the navigation is just amazing now. So I can easily and quickly. Um, select uh, letters um, accurately and, and correct those, which I thought was a really, really cool feature. Um, what else has he done to this? Um, the browsing itself is quite fast. Um, I take XDA as an example because it does. I found that they have a lot of flash advertisements on their website, and even on my PC, it always takes forever to load up. So as you can see, the page is already loaded, and that last last little bit there generally is just to load up the advertisements. To be completely honest with you, um, and uh, as you can see, it's just starting to load up there. And I happen to know that there we go. Now it's fully loaded up, as you can see it's gone, and navigation is quite smooth and quick. If we were to double tap to zoom in, um, very smooth, It'd be quite easy to read and, and, and navigate the pages, so that's a really nice feature. Um, one problem, if, if I was to complain about anything, was the fact that um, the market was not integrated. As we all know, if you've already downloaded this ROM and flashed it, um, it was a bit difficult to get some of the uh, apps that you had previously by restoring through Titanium Backup or even just trying to download them and find them on the market. They were non-existent. Um, a quick fix for that is just uh, downloading G apps, which you can find in the thread itself uh, for this particular ROM. And I just flashed it to clear the cache, and wouldn't you know, everything works perfectly. Perfectly now, um, but the one problem that I do have with this ROM is that he said there's 3G tweaks. Now I don't know if it's due to the radio that I have flashed currently on my phone, but I didn't very uh, didn't really get good results. Um, now I'll go ahead and I'll bring this up here, some speedtest.net action, and I'll show you the results that um, that I've gotten. And uh, that was with my uh, with my um, 4G. At least I'm thinking it's 4G. Anyways, uh, 314 down and uh, 180 up. <clears throat> Generally I'm seeing, uh, um, I'm, well at least I'm used to seeing about five to six uh, megabytes down and like one to two megabytes up on average. Uh, so I don't know if it's maybe because my carrier, uh, which is Bell, has a new, I, well I know they have a new radio out there so I don't know if it's maybe um, an incompatibility issue between this old radio and so on. So anyways, I'll have to tinker with that myself, but um, I'm sure that's working flawlessly as well if uh, I can get that sorted out. Um, the overall ROM itself is extremely smooth. I'm using the GT version, um, which has the 1.3 gigahertz uh, overclock in it. Um, the reason behind that is because I wanted a good balance between battery life and performance, and I think I found it in the GT. Um, GT Plus, I was using with my uh, Sanogen mod, uh, the beta before they have on XDA, uh, the 1.4 gigahertz, but, um, and it worked fine. Um, but for all intents and purposes, it obviously does drain a little faster than uh, a 1.3 gigahertz overclock would. And I do, of course, have my um, my uh, profiles set to you know 216 when uh, the phone turns off. So uh, great battery life there. And and um, my 1.3, it's great with the the games that I've tested out. It's great with everything. And basically, that's it, guys. I mean, it's this is completely de-bloated. This is probably the smoothest ROM I have tested for the Motorola Atrix to date. And I've tested them all, and this has got to be the quickest, uh, the smoothest, um, the best integration of uh, ice cream sandwich transitions. Um, just had to change the launcher from uh, ADW to ADW uh, X Pro um, because I was finding the uh, app drawer uh, uh, transition was a, a little bit laggy, but now it is absolutely flawless, as you can see. Um, and everything just works. Everything just works, guys. Um, 
that's it. That's it. Go and download it now and give Notorious a huge thanks. Big shout out to you, my friend, and keep the good work. And I really look forward to future updates from you. And until next time, guys, the Smoking Android, signing out.